everyone and welcome to another stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That's me, I am Johnny Chiodini and today, well, culture has given us many great returns in its time. The return of the king, that was a, a gift from J.R.R. Tolkien. Mark Morrison of course gave us Return of the Mac and then today Lucas Pope is bringing us Return of the Obra Dinn. Uh, which you'll see I haven't boosted up yet on the, on Steam. But um, yeah, uh, it's The Return of the Obra Dinn uh, is a game I last played, according to Steam, on the 14th of April 2019. Um, I played it for three hours, so I didn't get anywhere near the end, um, but I bloody love it. I think it's a fantastic... Uh, oh yeah, what about Return of the Jedi? Good shout, Corey O'Malley. Return of the Jedi was also a thing. Um... um yeah, basically, this is a great game that I never finished, and I was thinking about it the other day, I was like, I've really got back to Return of the Obra Dinn, and then I thought, well, hang on a minute, loads of people in the community have asked me to play this game in the past, why don't I grant their wishes? So, um, so here we go, um, it's Return of the Obra Dinn. Uh, let us begin. How is everyone? Are we all doing well? I hope you're all okay, and that you're having a decent week. Ooh. I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten the music. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh. Okay. So apparently I played it. Sep. I played it in. Do you remember how much? April. I played it in April 2019 for an hour and 22 minutes. That must, that might have been when I played it with Eurogamer? I don't know. No, that must have been when I played it. And then I restarted it, evidently, and then never went back to it. So let's go for it. Let's, we'll start with a brand new one. Um, but first, I've got a super chat and a super sticker to go through. Uh, Stephen Burns is on a super chat saying, I get to watch live for the first time in ages. Excited to see this game. You're an amazing person, Johnny. Thank you very much, Stephen. That's really kind. Um, this game is, I mean, it couldn't be much more up my alley, could it? It's, it's, it's all mystery based and it's nautical and it's, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, Katrina Trigari has done a super sticker of uh, a very athletic, he looks like a, a cheerleader with green skin and pink hair who kind of like pops up and is like, Oi! and has like pom poms in her hands and does a mid air split. It's quite impressive, really. Stephen Hoy says, Am I right in, am I right in thinking this was a late to the party back in the day? Yes, Aoife Wilson introduced me to this game um, when we were both at Eurogamer. Lost at Sea, 1803. The good ship Obra Dinn. Built, 1796, London. 800 tons, 18-foot draft. Captain R. Witterell. Crew, 51 men. Last voyage to Orient. Cape Rendezvous, unmet. Contra uh, contact East India Company, London office, for inquiries or testimony. <laughs> D. Lornro says, oceans are now crime scenes. Very funny. Um... The Honourable East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector. Insurance and Claims London Office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. <laughs> nice, which says Johnny feels very passionate about insurance, so this is a very exciting game for them. Absolutely. What could be better than insurance? Um, I've pinned a message to the top of chat, but before we begin, I'm going... Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Obra Dinn. Yes. Not many eager for that job. Okay. Well, I love insurance, so. Seems a bit late if you ask. Well. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Carefully now. Um. Right. So, pausing the game to say, I've pinned a message to the top of chat saying, a reminder, no backseating, timeouts will be issued. I am deadly serious about this. Um, do not backseat. If I, if I ask a question, it's just me trying to think through things. If I'm like, oh, where's the thing? I'm 
trying to work it out for myself. Do not answer me, it is rhetorical. There is an exception to this rule, it is if I ask in a French accent. If I'm like, okay everyone, where is the thing? I'm asking where the thing is. Got it? Because I will, I will just time out anybody who backseats. Doesn't matter who you are. You could be a family member, you could be my best friend in the whole world. I will time you out for 300 seconds, which is quite a long time. Alright? Good. Now that I've done the, the stern parenting thing, I've got two super chats to read, and then we're off. Wraith Fines has done a super chat saying, I'm very annoyed with YouTube. They didn't think I needed to know about the last stream, but did feel I would want to, want to watch a clip from Dara O'Brien. I feel like Dara O'Brien doesn't really need a boost algorithmically. I think Dara O'Brien's quite well known. But um you know what? The the algorithm is um is 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 strange and unknowable. So I'm sorry you missed the last stream, Wraith Finds, but it was not your fault nor was it mine. But thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, and Dr. Moss has done a super chat saying, just got back from field work in Bartlett, New Hampshire, and I'm about to start running a pirate themes D D campaign. Have fun with your own nautical shenanigans and quit making that Obra Din. Thank you very much, Dr. Moss, and good luck with the pirate themed D campaign. Um Pirate themed D campaign sounds absolutely phenomenal. I mean I've I've played in one and they are tremendous fun. It's how Rust in the Harbour got invented. Um right, here we go then. Okay. Here's a man. Here's the... My god, his chin is huge. Oh, it's a beard. You'd think I, I'd be familiar with beards adding size to chins, but it did just for a second. I think it's the shading. It looked like he had like a Popeye chin. Or like the weird witch in... Um, not witch, the weird lady in uh, Muppet's Christmas Carol who throws the bananas out the window. Anyway, right. Up we go. Welcome to Falmouth, everybody, and the Obra Din. A ship that... well, its sails are fucked, for one thing. Um, and there are bits missing from the... Oh no, there aren't bits missing from the rail. Anyway, this is the Obra Dip. Here we go. Aiden says I was in Falmouth last week. Well, what do you know? Ah, now there's your problem, mate. You've got skeletons. Right. What are the controls? Controls. View. Space is action. E is zoom. S is pause. Tab is open book. That's easy. Okay, well, yep, there's a skeleton. Cookie Cat 94 says, oh no, once you get skeletons, it's very hard to get them out. I agree. Ah, oh, I've forgotten how atmospheric this game is. It's very nice. Hello! Oh. Me, 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 me. What is it, man? In boat? Matt Wetton's done, yeah, Matt Wetton has uh, done a super chat. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. Too heavy. Too heavy. <laughs> Matt Wetton's done a super chat saying, uh, hope, you, hope you are well. It's VOD for me again as I look after a poorly six-year-old. No! Uh, how was your Mask of the Rose playthrough going? Who did you romance and why was it Grizz? Uh, it was Grizz. I actually haven't played since I streamed it for my sins, but I was absolutely going for for um, for Grizz. Here's my book. Return of the Obra Din, a catalogue of adventure and tragedy by Johnny Keardini, 1807. Preface. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Obra Din. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Obra Din is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. 
Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans! Okie dokie, so here we go. So, contents. The journey, the ship, the crew, life at sea, sketch, glossary, back cover. Hmm, back cover. And then we've got loose cargo, a bit of cold, murder, the calling, unholy captives, soldiers of the sea, the doom, bargain, escape, and the end. So, right, let's have a look. Arctic leg of Far East route. Deck plans for the Oberdin. There's the all-up deck there. Uh, complete crew and passenger manifest sketches of life aboard the Obra Din. So, here are some people. This is when we're underway. These are some, ah, some things we can look at. Oops. Skim through the entire book first. Fine. Um, yeah, there are lots of pictures that we can look at, which is quite useful. Justice at sea. Oh, God, justice at sea. That's a bit much, isn't it? Um, and we've got to put details in all of this. The Doom. Bargain. Escape. The End. Glossary. Captain, mate, bosun, gunner, per... That's, what's a purser? The administrative official accounts for all cargo value and trade transactions, manages a small item store for crew. There we go. Michaela Hawkins is on a super chat saying Endo endometrio yeah, endometriosis is kicking me while I'm down today, so a Johnny Stream hot pad, Oreos, and snuggles from my dogs is the best I can ask for today. That sounds like a very nice way of dealing with a sucky situation. I'm very sorry that um, you're having a tough one today. I hope it gets uh, easier soon. Uh, so this is the main thing we need to work out. This is the name of everyone aboard ship and what their role was and where they're from. And then at the very top, you've got... Come on. Oh, mouse wheel, why? Oh, I can just do it with the actual mouse. Their fate. So, we, you know, for example, Robert Whittle, the captain. We could say, it's this person, and then this is how they died. Um, so, yeah, that's it, basically. That's the book. Now here comes the pocket watch. Um, but, yeah, Michaela, I'm really sorry that you're having a rough one. Memento mortem. Um... Remember that. Uh, that was me reading out stuff from the game. I wasn't saying that directly to you, Michaela. Um, lots of love to you and the dogs, and I hope you feel better soon. Uh, Brett uh, Chell has done a super chat saying, Woke up well before my alarm on the day I restart therapy and get a notification you're streaming a wonderful game I bought because of that late to the party video. This seems like a good omen. Well, I'm sorry you're up early and for... Um, you know, it's, yeah, it, I can I can understand why you're up early on a day like this, but um, I'm very glad to have you on board the stream. Um, and I suffice it to say, I hope restarting therapy goes uh, very, very well. Now, that's a problem. Look, that mast has been broken and then they've had to lash it together. That's very bad. Anyway, right, we've got skeletons, which is obviously an issue. But wait... Forgot about that little musical cue. Captain, open the door. Kick it in. Uh oh. Ah, let's we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may taste exactly what I give you. Whoa! So, if you've never played this game before, the stopwatch takes you back in time. You get a little audio cue like that. And then you see the moment of someone's death. Uh, this game can be quite violent, by the way, and has some mature themes. Um, so these are the two lads that were saying, kick that door in. One of them sounded Scottish, I think. And then the captain, this would be the captain here, said, you'll take exactly what I give you, and then threw open the door and bang, shot this guy in the chest. Um, so that's the moment of someone's demise, basically. 
and we get to have we basically we can look around here for as long as we like. Like for example, I oh know not for as long as we like. There's who's that there? Right. It's going to ping us back now, isn't it? Oh. Oh yes, that's right. Hold on. The end. Gan. Over there. Outside the captain's quarters, location of the corpse, three others were present. So, who is this? How did they die? This is effectively a tutorial-esque bit. So, who is this and how did they die? This unknown soul was shot with a gun by Captain Robert Witterell. Now, this unknown soul. This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. Um, this blurring indicates you don't yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Their fate may be known and can be entered now, indeed. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Ergo, don't do it. Carry on and pay attention. And there we go. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okie dokie. There we go. So, we can go back to the memory anytime we like. Um, but here's a reminder of what they said. Um, right. Here we go. We're back in the, we're back in the memory. Uh, but also, I have uh, a super chat to read from Ducks Piloting a Mech Cat. Mm. Uh, it reads, Hello everyone. Hope all are well or get better soon. Saw Across the Spider-Verse today. Amazing film. Can't wait for the next one. Tomahawk steaks for dinner tonight as well. Gonna be tasty. That sounds like a tremendous day. Whoa. Um, I still haven't seen a, Across the Spider-Verse, but I'm very excited to see it. Um because I loved the first one, uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to more. Right, so, okay, someone's getting shot, but up here, who's this? It is a man with a weathered face that has a knife in his mouth. Whether he could be going up here to jump down into the skylight, maybe? We'll see. But anyway, we've had a good look now. And then, I forget how we actually leave the... Uh, oh, there's a door. There we go. That's how we leave the vision. Right. So, corpse. There. Very dead. Very dead indeed. Now, here is a man in a hat. Or with a hat. And there's that knife, you'll remember. But there's also a corpse over here. That's many a corops. Well, let's uh, let's keep going. <laughs> I like how many of you in chats went, a knife! No Surrender says, wait, is this a game about meeting lovely skeleton, uh, new lovely skeleton pals? Basically, yes, and finding out what happened to them. Hmm. Let's go. Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Oh. Right. So, this is the captain. This is a man whose throat has been slashed by the captain. This is the same man who was outside earlier, but he progressed in to the room on account of not being dead. So there we go. Okay. And then, now look. 
You remember that fellow who was... Look at that. The fellow who was up there. Is now down there. Hmm. Inside the captain's quarters. Location of the corpse. Two others were present. Who is this and how did they die? This unknown soul was... Um... Axed, burned, clawed, clubbed, crushed, decapitated, drowned, knifed by Robert Whitterell, the Capitan. Unknown soul. You don't have sufficient information to determine this person's identity. Please explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I just wanted to see if it would uh, patronise us again. All right. Cool. So this guy is in two memories. You can start cross-referencing people. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. First memory, perished in the end, just two. Show memories on deck map. Bookmark memories. Book all memories. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. Because there are some people that will... Dr they drive me up the wall where I'm like, who is... Who is this? Who did this... Use the buttons at the top of the page to edit bookmarks and navigate between them. There we go. Anyway, we know how that, that person died. And then there's this fellow. With the, the niff and the move. But it doesn't appear there's anyone else. We can't get in here for now. So, we know the captain niffed someone in the throat. Nice, which says, I love it because this game is worried you're going to make an already difficult task even harder for yourself by looking in by locking in wrong names from the off, so it basically bullies you out of it. <laughs> Anonymous says, if you say every person on board was killed by the captain with an axe, you get an achievement. That's very funny. Right, who's this then? Is it the captain? There's a hat. Oh no, that's the skull. I was like, is, is this finally the captain or is this the guy with the niff in the move? Because there's two niffs. And the spear, or big pole, that... So, right, Captain was attacked by this man with that spear, and he got niffed. And then this guy had a niff in the mouth. Maybe, unless this is the Captain. Let's find out! Elissa says, when I played this, I spent a lot of time muttering about hats. I've done the same thing. It really does. You do start just going like... When you're, when you're playing this game. It's great. Right. Aha! Well. The, ah, no! So the niff went from the moof into the captain's ribs. But the captain, dropping his niff, spun round. And thwack with the pole. Meanwhile, in here, is a sleeping or possibly dead lady. Zoom. Oh, we can identify her face. Interesting. Ah, that's very useful. Right, well, we're going to keep doing that, aren't we? <laughs> right. <laughs> Dr. Moss says the captain is engaged in an elaborate pole dance. <laughs> How did they die? This unknown soul was clubbed by Captain Robert Whitrell. He's in three memories. First memory, but there. There we go. Clubbed Robert. West. So you see, you you can sort of look on the map and you get those those uh, details. It's very very useful.
And then, just going to make sure there's nothing else, like no one else came along. Eleanor Smith says, damn, the cap can go right through them. He can. Unfortunately, that's a niff in his, in his side. This is a lady. Possibly dead. Guess we'll find out. They died from axe. Well, no, no, they didn't die from axe. They died from get shot, but that is an axe. Right. Chris Bowen says the captain just unlocked a spy drone kill streak. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, but look. That's interesting. Look at look how different the door looks. Uh, and it's now open because we've learned is relevant to the investigation. Because in that last memory, when this guy had his skull bashed in by the captain, this door was shut. But now, information opens doors. So this is a corops. And there is a gun there. Uh, oh god, his pelvis has popped right out, look. Um, and here is the dead woman. Methinks this will be Captain Whistrel. Let's find out, shall we? Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. Oh. Ah, yes. So, like I said, slightly strong themes in this game. But, now let's remember what he just said. He said, Abigail, your brother, I shot him. This could well be, based on what we know, from that exchange. Abigail, who's here, her brother. Anyway... Uh, here's the captain. Uh, there he is, look. And, well, it's fairly clear what has happened to him. Because we know for a fact he that from the trail of blood he walked to this chair. And, well, we just heard the audio. He ate a bullet. <laughs> Fingers Mahoney goes, that's not where bullets go! Uh, no one was present. Who is this? How did they die? Okay. This unknown soul. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. Use the book in the pocket watch to gather enough information to, de to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship while using the pocket watch uh, to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Like ping pong. Use the book maps, crew manifest, and artist sketches in pages two to four, along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. So, there were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be, re re be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck! I mean, the captain just showed us a pretty neat process of elimination right there. Killed three people. Four, if you count the last one. Butterscotch has done a super chat saying, Hiya, Johnny, how are you doing? I'm alright, thank you, Butterscotch. Um... I'm finally playing Obra Dinn again after like four years, and I forgot how great it is, frankly. Uh, right, the captain committed suicide by gun. Captain Robert Whittrell shot himself. Stephen Hoy says, Johnny, what? He killed like three people in the space of like no time at all. 
Two of them hand to hand. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. Oh, that's right. So Captain Robert Witterell shot himself. There we go. Um, uh, but yes, I'm fine, Butterscotch. I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, I'm going to be playing this until half seven this evening, so another three hours. Um, and yeah, I'm, d I'm doing A-OK. -okay. Thank you very much. Right, Abigail. Now, this is an interesting thing, right? Let's have a look at... Oh, whoops. Uh, I would like to look... It's Q, isn't it, further? Yeah, there we go. The crew. Let's have a look for Abigail. Abigail Hoskett Witterell. Passenger from Scotland. Now, we know that one of the men in the audio clip saying Captain Open the Door was Scottish. Witterell is obviously the captain's name, but Hoskett. Hoskett. That's an interesting name. Let's see if it appears... Well, 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 well. If it isn't for even if if in if in it isn't in William Hoskett, <laughs> the first mate. So, who is William Hoskett? Well, let's do this backwards, shall we? Let's go for. Uh, where do we find him? Do 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 do. The Doom, Bargain, Escape. The end. Ah, this unknown soul was shot with a gun by Captain Robert Witterell. I believe this man to be William Hoskett, the first mate from Scotland. That's not going to be confirmed or not, because as you remember, the game just said we need to do three uh, sets in order to uh, have it typeset into the book. Uh, so what we should do, really, is exit this this here uh, vision and then go have a look into Abigail. And then if we say Abigail died of like illness, whatever it is, hopefully it will tell us if we're right or not. The end. Oh wait, no, we've we've done four, four. Okay. We found four, sorry. Not done for. Now then. From one horrible vision into another. Oops. <laughs> Zoom. Anyway. Scottish, all right. Oh, good lord. Right. Oh, goodness. Well, this has escalated, hasn't it? Because that's Abigail. And it's safe to say she has been cracked in the face with a spar. Or is that a yard arm? A big bit of ship by an enormous tentacle. A kraken, if you will. There's this man. He's also having a bad time. There's this man. Having a bad time. Abigail is most assuredly dead now. Is that the first mate there? Not sure. There's this fellow. Another woman! That's a, another woman. Right, anyway. I forgot about that moment. It is quite, uh, quite the sudden change of events, isn't it? Chapter, uh, chapter 7, The Doom. Inside the captain's quarters. The corpse was moved post-mortem. Ten others were present when she died. Who is this? This is most assuredly... Where's she gone? 
Abigail, 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 where have you gone? Abigail, Abigail Hoskett Whitterell, one of the passengers from Scotland, but also uh, wife to the captain, was, I think it's safe to say, clubbed by a beast. It was clubbed by a terrible beast. Now, look. We did it. There we go. Close book. Oh! Oh, me watch is going off! Oh, crikey. Right. So let's find out more about what we can. For example, oh, good lord! This man has been torn in half. This is a different man. Oh, that's. We saw that guy earlier. That's the man with the niff in his move. A spray of blood going over there. Neo Hamilton has done a super chat saying, Hello, LSPs. What's this and why are we fighting a Kraken? Seems like a bit of an intense Thursday. This is Return of the Obra Din. Basically, this ship has come back, having been presumed lost at sea, it's come back with nobody left alive on it, but lots of skeleton ton 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 tons, and we're using a magic pocket watch to work out what happened so that an insurance claim can be fi found. Uh, filed. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty full on. It's pretty, pretty pretty full on. Oh, who's this? Who's this? Hello, I didn't see you there. Man with gun. But that's you from earlier. Right. I believe we've scanned everyone's face here. Oh! Oh yes, that's right. Bwong. <gasps> yeah, you can um... Specific, you can zero in on another person if you're able to. So, for example, ah. that's right. You can be like, okay, I see that someone's dead here. Show me how, where, go. Because they were already dead in that vision when we saw them. But despite the fact that they are not there, we can use it as an anchor point to go back. I'd forgotten about that. So you know when I said he'd been torn in half? Well... There's your confirmation. Because those look like legs, and those look like guts, and these look like, well, that looks like that man. Who else is there? This guy's there. This fellow's there. Naka says, to shreds, you say? <laughs> is that a, a Futurama reference? I can't remember. Nice, which says, is that not just the most metal thing you've seen. Pretty much. But also, look, a goat. Um, oh, look, look. This man is being thrown a riffle. Wait, wait, come back. Oh. HC Bird says, I think the graphics work really well with the gore. It really does. They really do, rather. Right. Location of the corpse. Who is this? How did they die? Now, you'll notice their face is unblurred, so we should have enough information as to who they are. Let's fill this bit in first. Torn apart by a beast. But who is this unknown soul? Now, I seem to remember... I actually remember this. Um, you've got... It's, it's The clue is in 
where people are from because that guy had a lot of tattoos that were kind of like swirls um, that suggested uh, possibly an indigenous culture. So we've got England, Austria, France, America. Probably not one of those. England, Ireland, Austria, Poland, Scotland, England, England. Unknown, passenger, Italy, England, England. Formosa, India, Sweden, Wales, Ireland, England. England, Persia, Scotland, China. England, New Guinea. Is this Mabba, the topman? Let's uh, work it out. We've got somebody from Sierra Leone. But I would guess New Guinea from the tattoos. That is what I would say. Um, Orthogonalist says, I think his tattoo looks look a lot like traditional English, English crop circles. Must be English. Very good. Alex Simkin has done a super chat saying, I gave myself a stupid chuckle as washing machines and Calgon has the same number of syllables and as ultramarines and Calgar. So I'm hearing the jingle, Ultramarines live longer with Calga. It's pretty good. Emma Benton's in chat. So is Lucy. Hello to you both. How are you doing? I hope you're very well. You're better, doing better than Mabba the Topman anyway. He was torn apart by a terrible beast. Right, so. Uh, who were we going to look at? Oh, I wanted to see who this was. Bloody hell, Charlotte Seymour has done a massive super chat. Thank you very much, Charlotte. That's super generous of you. Uh, saying, hi, Johnny and chat. I hope you're having a lovely day. I love this game, so I hope you have fun. Have you completed this before? I haven't completed it before. Um, I think I've only played it for like an hour and a half max in one sitting. Um, obviously, I'm going quite slow because I'm streaming and talking and stuff. Um, but I imagine we'll probably get further today than I have ever got in this game. I keep mean... I like, I keep needing to go back and complete it, but I knew that if I were to go back to it, I'd have to start again. So then I was like, well, everyone wants me to play this, so why don't I start again? You know, like, I'm not opposed to streaming this a second time or whatever, or, you know, um, I would just like to complete it once in my life, you know? Uh, the pool is abstract. It's done a super chat saying, Hello, I'm starting my first ever full-time job soon at age 28. So excited and nervous. Finally going to be a grown-up sound designer. Enjoy Obra Dinning. Sound designer sounds like a hell of a job. Um, congratulations, the pool is abstract. I hope you have a wonderful time and you settle in nicely and your colleagues are absolutely bloody lovely. Um, yeah, that's that's wonderful news. Congrats. And thank you very much for the super chat. And again, um, thanks to Charlotte Seymour for a really generous super chat. Uh, you're all really nice. Right, so. Ra -da 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 -da, was torn in half. But this, the watch is vibrating. So, is there someone else here that... There's this guy. What else is happening? Kind of getting the feeling, bong. That's right, you can toll, like, basically toll the dead. <laughs> aha, 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 aha. And you can help find out someone else whose death you can investigate. Let us do that. Kunigan says, interesting, you can have different descriptions of the same event. I said, Abigail was crushed by a mast. Yeah, she was, but... Hmm. Okay. Wong. Where are we off to now? Brett Chell is on another super chat, saying, Obra Din Limerick. Nautical mysteries confound. Corpses of death to be found. Our favourite, they must sift... Wait. Nautical mysteries confound. Causes of death to be found. Our favourite... Oh, our favourite they. Our favourite they must sift through decay while sailors' corpses abound. Right, one more time. Nautical mysteries confound. Causes of death to be found. Our favourite they must sift through decay while sailors' corpses abound. Very good. I'm sorry I, I butchered that twice before we got it right, but that is... <laughs> Absolutely tremendous. Speaking of corpses, who's this? When you hate the introduction to games?
Nice, it says, laugh my ass off, Johnny. I was just typing that joke. I could feel it in the wing, in the wind. Oh, blimey. Now. This is something, isn't it? Um, Marika Rausch. I hope I said your name right there. I'm very sorry if I didn't. Uh, it's on a super chat. The first ever, in fact. Uh, it says, finally starting my first job in September at age 34. ADD is a B sometimes. So I wanted to share a bit of the good fortune. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Um... Like, that's really lovely news, and I hope you have a wonderful time. I hope it... There he is. Look, there's our topman. Um, and again, yeah, I hope you settle in really quickly and, and, and smoothly, and all your colleagues are really nice, and... Yeah, like, congratulations. I hope you're taking time to feel proud of yourself. Because, like, that's no small achievement. Because ADD can indeed be a B. Right, who's this, then? That person there. Fingers Mahoney asks a good question. Is that a person or a goo cloud? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. So. Who is this? And how did they die? I don't know how they... I don't know who they are. I'm not even that keen on putting in how they died. Because, like, were they blown up? Were they drowned? I did see... Um, Plastic Vicar say this game is very generous with interpretations of cause of death, which is a nice anti-frustration uh, feature. Um, I'm a bit worried I wasn't paying enough attention in that one. Right, so... Oh, look. Oh, no, that is absolutely a dead person. Right, okay. Well, now I feel confident. Because it's definitely that person. And we absolutely know that they were exploded. <laughs> This unknown soul was blasted by an explosion. Of that, we can be absolutely certain. So, yep, there they are. That's them. This, meanwhile, is this person. Okay, good, good, good. Tremendous. Now, we've tagged all of this lot. We know that's our topman. There's our goat there. Okay. Let's go back. Okie dokie. So, yes. They were very exploded. Tab, open book. This unknown soul was blasted by an explosion. Yeah, their face is blurry, so we don't have enough information on them. I would like to just look at the crew. See... Okay, so that's a sketch. That's justice at sea. Where's the... Journey the ship, the crew. Life at sea, sketch. Where's the actual, um... Oh, it's justice. It's justice, isn't it? It's, um... Justice. There we go, look. Here we go. Ah, I'm bad at controlling this sometimes. Right. So, yeah, there we go. Right. So some faces are unblurred. I just want to check to see if there are any more faces unblurred. Knifed by Whistrel. I want to double check there's like sort of no one else that... Right, so we should be able to work out who this is. That's interesting. Because... It's very interesting. And this is where I'll remind you not to backseat. This is me just thinking. Aloud. Okay. So that's the captain and the first mate. And then we got this guy here, and this guy here. They are wearing the same sort of hat. Second, third, and fourth mates. And then we've got Boson, Boson's mate.
Right. Let's have another deeks at this man. See his memories. First memory. His first memory was this. On the main deck. No one seemed to say anything. Location of the corpse was there. Is he only in... Is he really only in that one memory? They asked rhetorically, because it wasn't in a French accent. Memories. Bookmark memories. Show memories on deck. Aha! What about this one? Martin. Martin! Where is the captain? Can we go back into this memory? Let's. Martin! Okay, I'm going to ask this in a French accent, because I'm genuinely asking. Um, in order to go back into the memory, is the best way just to go back to the body? Or is there another way? Okay. Boudum. Martin. There we go. Right, got it. It's nice to be sure. Open the book while examining a face. Ah, to flip directly to the sketch. Well, that's useful. Okie dokie. Madison Kirkpatrick is on a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, can't stay. Been crazy adjustment to my new job, but I'm persevering. Can't wait to watch on VOD. And I finally became a patron. Thank you so much, Madison. That's really lovely of you. Um, uh, I'm glad that you're persevering. Um, crazy adjustment, adjustment sounds like a mixed bag. But um, I, I really do hope you're enjoying the new gig. Um, and I will catch you on VOD and uh, also on Patreon. Uh, thank you so much for joining and for the Super Chat. That was very, very generous of you. Um, if, uh, if any of the rest of you want to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description of this video. Right. Here we go. This is Martin. Martin Perro or Perrot. The third mate. There we go. We know who that is. Bang. Um, it is good sometimes to see, yeah, check on the check on the sketches to make sure that no one else has sort of come to light. So we got right first. We got first mate, third mate, which would make you think this is the second mate. But then there is a fourth mate, and I don't see another person with this hat. So anyway, that's useful. Right. There we go. Right. Nice which says, damn, this guy's got so many mates. I know, right? Popular. Anyway. Uh, I could have sworn one of these hatches was opened. And we could go, there we go, look, we can go downstairs now, which is nice. We're going to unravel this mystery bit by bit. Uh, this seems bad. Gun carriages tipped over everywhere. Uh, tremendous amount of damage here. That's also bad. But we can't scan wood. We can only scan bodies. There's one. Sorry, didn't mean to sound quite so excited about that, but there we go. <coughs> Oops, no, don't zoom. We hit space. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's going to smart, isn't it? Right. 
Well, we know how this one died. And then we've got... That's, uh... Martin! And then over here, we've... This person. And... This person. And also... This fellow. And... A headless person. Who we are still... Somehow able... To identify. So that's impressive. Okay, right. Dr. Moss says his death was just assumed before. Now it's canon. Who was this? How did they die? Was crushed by a cannon. Crushed by a loose cannon. What's happened here, sir? Loose cannon. She's keeling over. Find your footing. There we go. Now, you'll remember that we discovered this poor unfortunate soul. And the watch is now shaking, which makes me think we can bong. Yes, indeed. Find out more about them by basically hopping from one vision to another. God, this game's so good. And also one of those ones that you need to play in relatively short order. Because you've got to keep those threads alive up here. Oh... Doo -doo. Right. Now then. Oh, criminy. So, this guy was presumably swabbing a cannon. And you'd think that's because they were under attack from, say, the Kraken. But then, was definitely shot. With a cannon. This lot just keep turning up, don't they? There's our topman again. Lucy says, what's the blurry shape? That would be the explosion from the mouth of the cannon. Pow! Also, hang on. Look, you can change the monitor. To make it look all different. Like an, we're playing on an IBM now, or LCD. That one I just makes me feel a bit sick. Oh no, no, don't! Okay. So here's the thing, right? Like, oh god, two people died in that one. Oh, well, well, I'm not. But this, that one looks like the one who was shot with a cannon. Hang on, let's put it back on Macintosh. Macintosh. So, right, we know that who that guy is. Where's, there's another person who dies in this one, seemingly. Right, well hang on a minute, right. Was shot by a cannon. By, I mean the thing is, how can we... Was it an accident? We don't know who that is yet. We don't know who this is yet. But the audio right at the start had such horrible, horrible sounds. <laughs> okay, so it was definitely this one. 
the guy who was clubbed to death by Captain Witterell, but we don't know who he is yet. Because look, there's a tentacle there, and he did seem in trouble, but this is definitely... I mean, he was conclusively... he was conclusively shot by a cannon. By the man who was clubbed. Oh, wait! Look, 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 look! A corpse! A corpse? No. Who's this? Okay, he's just hiding. What confuses me is... This person. This... I'm not sure where they are. Oh, wait. Dong! If we told the dead, we'll find out. Ah, oh, look! If it isn't, this man was crushed by a cannon. Nice where it says, I think you need... Johnny, I think you need to dial down the joy when you find a corpse. Yeah, probably. Whoopsie daisy. Ah. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's happening. I need some paper. I need some paper. Yep, I can repurpose that. Oops. No, I do want to check this one out. This is the bit, this is the bit where I start to like get weird about this game is, right, so we know that, we know the face of the man who was shot by the cannon, we know that he was shot by, by a cannon, but who shot him, well he was shot by the unknown man who was clubbed to death by Captain Witterell, so in our shorthand, shot to death with cannon, was shot to death with cannon by clubbed by Captain Witterell. And it's not having a way of putting that into the game that makes me get all squirrely and get paper out and start writing. Anyway, let's find out who this is. Here we go. <laughs> Reese says insurance quotes are now battlefields. <laughs> Bong. Right, where are we off to? Yes, that is most assuredly where they died. Me, 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 boodum. Okay. Okay. Well, that would be how the cannon got moved, hey? This person was crushed to death by a beast. There's there's our man that got See look look he was he was being um Oh is this hang on a minute. Yeah, okay. Were they both shot by the cannon? He was definitely being crushed, but then he got shot by a cannon. But, right, we know for a fact this guy was shot by a cannon. What else can we determine? Now that's interesting, because their, their cannon is pointing the right way. Hmm. Right, anyway. Okie dokie. So... Dum, 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 dum. They were crushed by a terrible beast. There we go. Do not backseat. Do not backseat. Um, I'm going to put a question mark next to my note saying that shot by cannon was shot by clubbed by captain. Because look, 
That's a spark on a different cannon. It's a completely different crew. In fact, there's a whole wall in the way. He wasn't involved with this, so Belay Spark wasn't his spark, was it? I'm going to cross it out entirely, actually. There. There we go. You think you know something. You think you know something. Right. John Ward has done a super chat saying, I'm just back from a Prodigy gig last night, and watching you play one of my favourite games is the best way to relax. Have fun with this. It's the video game equivalent of, Clan of, of Kean's Jawbone, a puzzle book. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> David Hopley says, Please, Club by Captain was my father's name. Keen's Jawbone. Keen's Jawbone. Garina Rain has done a super sticker. The sticker is of a pear. The pear is unlike no most pears in that it has arms and legs. And a big old hand, because it keeps going boop. Boop. Uh, as if to say, you're doing great. I don't know that I am, because, right, it's, it seems to want me to say how this person died. But I don't know. I don't feel like I know. And I feel silly about it. But we'll work it out. Oh, it's Kane's jawbone. Okay. Kane's. And it's supposedly one of the hardest puzzle books out there. Interesting. Okay, all right. Who the fuck are you? Right. You. Two memories. That's the one we're on. And Perish in the Doom Part 4. Were they also shot? Were there two people in that explosion? Bloody hell. I'd like to go back to that one. Let's go through the door. Okay. <laughs> now. Open the, open the book while the pocket watch is open to flip directly to the relevant page. Tremendous. Well, let's... I want to go back into that memory. Okay. All right. Ah, now. Now, now, now. Look. There is only one man here. But there is some sort of the Kraken out there. Did the Kraken pull this man? Out of the window. We know who that is. Well, we don't know who that is, but we know that that's not the person we're inquiring about right now. There is only one man here. I believe. It is my belief. That the Kraken... Like... Huffed that guy out of the window. Jupiter Mon says... Uh, Ah yes, love pen in mouth mode of investigation. I um Yes. Uh I I do this a lot when I'm having to think about things. And for some reason it really helps. But I realise it's not great when you're streaming. Alright. Okay. So All right, let's leave this one. Jupiter Mon says, it was not a criticism. I just recognized myself playing this game. Oh, I didn't take it as a criticism. Do not worry. Okay, this person. Two memories. Let's take their first... No, they perished in the Doom Part 4. But their first memory, they're not dead yet. So we don't know for certain. Oh, right. I would like... Have another look here. Let's see if any faces have become clear. Just going to double check. I 
think we're all right. It's that that I'm scared of when the game's like, don't you know who this is yet? Wait a minute. Oh, no, your face is still blurry. Okay, I was like... Oh, look! Aha! Look, look, look. We should have enough information to know who this is. Huh. This is a deduction rating. Okay. A high rating means it will be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. Focus on the easily deduced identities first, and then leave the more difficult ones for later. So we should be able to tell who she is, but it should be hard as nails. Got it. For example, there... Among the passengers, there's... I will. I am going to leave this one, but I'm just kind of looking. Miss Jane Bird, Emily Jackson. There's more than one person it could be. So there we go. Hmm. Right. Well, that's okay. We press on. Let's go find another body. And we're not going to be too excited about it. We're keeping it solely to professional curiosity. God, this game is just so good, isn't it? Okay. The Wretched Owl says, Can't wait for the Netflix adaptation, Return of the Obra Dinn, and Knives Out Mystery. If some kind of fish monster pulled this man out of the ship, then where is the bones? It's not my best work, is it? Um, ah, now, look, look, look. This door hath been opened to us, and this is a small collection of bones. Oh! Well, it sounded like pooped self to death. But, <gasps> E-S. Oh, well, I mean, he was pooping, look. But E-S appears to be the person who did the sketch, and they were crushed to death by the Kraken. Okay, now, what else can we determine? Yes, I was. I would have been disturbed by those noises as well, my friend in the ship's galley. Look, this is before the real start of the uh, attack. He was perhaps the first to go on account of the fact he was putting chum in the water. There's Martin! There's someone carrying some plates. Okay. All right. Who is this? How did they die? Now, this unknown soul. E. S. Edward Spratt, the artist, was crushed by poop. Sorry, a beast. <laughs> Sarah Jane Graham says, Tell my family I drowned. <laughs> All right, Edward Spratt, the artist, was crushed by a terrible beast. Now, this is interesting. Feels like... Oh, are you also dead here? No, it's just a person in a hammock. Unless these are dead people in hammocks. Let's find out. Who else or died? <gasps> 
Upstairs? Upstairs! Didn't think about upstairs, did I? Didn't have a look. Okay, who's this? Well, can I cancel this? I want to see who these folks are. No, seems like we must. Oh, no, wait, hang on a minute. <laughs> nice switch says Johnny to every single person in this game. Oh, are you also dead? Yeah, it turns out. And yeah, I, c I can be surprised, even if I already know that no, no. Basically, no one lived. There's the moon look. Unless it's the sun. Yeah, that's a corpse there. Let me on. Over my dead body, you bloody dame. Oh, dame. How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Before I forget, you killed my brother. What? There was an accident. The ropes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. <laughs> Ugh. Okie dokie. That's a b bad man. That's a Danish man who's now dead. That's a surprised man. Who apparently we can identify, but it is difficult. We know he's English. So it will be one of... I mean, if they were brothers, they should have the same surname, right? So let's have a look at all the surnames of Englishmen. Captain Stewart. Davy James. I haven't been looking that closely. Was Peters one of the ones? I asked rhetorically. Ah, Peters! Yeah, look. Samuel Peters and Nathan Peters. So it's one of the Peters' is, 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 is brothers. Okay. Anyway. This fellow's Danish. And apparently, according to the rating, it's very easy to deduce who he is. On account of him being the only Danish person. This is Lars Linder. A seaman. Yes. Okay. Now... This was early doors. This was early. We know this is early doors because the ship's not completely fucked yet. So we won't have seen what happened to the other Peter's brother. Yes, no switch. Seaman is what I call redacted. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> so we won't have seen what happened to the other Peter's brother. So we can't identify who that is yet was clubbed to death by one of the Peters brothers. It's either Samuel or Nathan Peters, but we don't know which one's which just yet. Now, is there anything else we can determine from this vision? I fucking love this game. Aiden says, are you from the era, era that had the myth about the names of the, captain, uh, the characters from Captain Pugwash? Yes, indeed. Bloody loved Captain Pugwash and I was a kid as well. Okay. Hmm? What we got? Oofed. Conclusion. Okay. Seven wayward souls disappear during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. 
Okay, disappearances. Okay. Well, we can... Um, this unknown soul... Yeah, well, he just bloody disappeared, didn't he? Oh, no, more people we should be able to identify. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, I would very much like to look at the crew again. Oh, no, that guy's still blurry. All right. Uh, no, Johnny. Damn it. Apparently we should be able to work out who this man is. It's a two two rating deduction. And this man. So this is the third mate. Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Let's go back and see Edward Spratt's little corpse. Anna says, what if the goat did it, though? Ooh, God, yeah. That's a troubling thought, and make no mistake. Let's go see Spratt's corpse, because I... Hello? Well, that's interesting. But give me one minute. Is Spratt's corpse this way? No, it isn't. It's the other way, isn't it? Bollocks. Unless it... Ooh, bollocks. Because, right? We know... Yep, we don't need to hear that. Oh, we're hearing it anyway. Tremendous. Right. This fellow. Is that? No, that's not the fellow we should be able to identify. Aha! Aha! If that is the first mate, and he's walking with this person who's standing next to him in that portrait and is serving him, I have an hunch that this... Is. Oh no. Yes! Third mate steward. Right? No, wait. Because, no. Yeah, Martin Perro. Third mate. That's his steward. That is Roderick Anderson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Edward Spratt. Bomb. Mabba the Topman. All right. Whoop whoop. Dum 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 dum. Cool. Oh, this game is so good. Absolutely phenomenal. And to celebrate, Captain Shiny has summoned the Blood Pair. Um, the Blood Pair as a uh, as you may well know, um, is uh, well, it's 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 a. I described the pair earlier as like having a nice time and being like woo woo, um, and like showing off its thumb. Now it's showing off a mug, and in that mug is a viscous red fluid. Um, we've seen a lot of it spilled on the deck of the ship because I think it's blood. Basically, there's a big sentient pair. It's got a mug, and it's like ooh, who's for a bit of blood? It's really quite visceral, but it is appropriate for this stream. So sometimes when the blood pair is summoned, I'm like, oh god. But in this instance, yeah, fair dues. Now, right, that's a niff. That's some blobbed. And this is a doer, which we can open, and what do we have? Buddy! Um, we're going to take a look at this one um, after a five minute break, because um, I'm streaming until se ooh, half seven today? Yeah, half seven today, uh, which is another two hours. 
but uh, I could do with getting a bit more water because I'm almost out and um, I could do with going to the toilet. What about you? Have you? When was the last time you got up and had a little stretch? Uh, maybe you should consider doing that because stretching is good for you. Uh, also, if you're thirsty or you need snacks or you're too warm, you're too cold or whatever, if you've got something that you could be doing in the next five minutes uh, that would you can just take care of now so you can enjoy the rest of this stream without worrying, go and do it. If not, here comes some smooth jazz and a picture of a good dog. See you in five minutes.
Hi everyone, welcome back. How are you all doing? I hope you had a nice break. I got some water. Um, whoa, excuse me. Let's carry on playing Return of the Obra Dim. Din. Not Dim. Um, because we've got mysteries to solve. Hey. Um, Brandon Hart uh, did a super chat while I was on break saying, Sorry, but I have to run. Enjoy the rest of the mystery boat. I will catch you all in the VOD. Also, beware the blood pair. It longs for us all. Uh, take care, Brandon. I assume you've already gone, um, but I'm saying it anyway. And if you're now watching this on VOD, hi, Brandon. Welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. I hope uh, the rest of your day was fun, and I hope you're enjoying the VOD. Um, Ethan Miguel Serki has done a super chat saying, can you go over who you figured out yet? I've just started playing along, and I want to cheat off you, which is then struck through. It says, catch up. Uh, absolutely, Ethan. That's a very good idea, actually. Yes. Let's have a, a quick look through the manifest. How do we show... How can, is there a way of just showing people that we've we've done successfully? Don't know. God, there's so much. Unholy captive, soldiers of the sea. Okay, so we've got Lars Linder, the seaman, who was clubbed to death by an unknown attacker. Edward Spratt, the artist, was crushed by a terrible beast while pooping, no less. Uh, somebody was crushed by a terrible beast against a cannon, but you don't know who they are yet. Um, someone else was uh, blasted by a cannon by an unknown attacker because it was, well, it was kind of an accident, but someone must have lit the fuse. This person, oh, we're not sure how this person died, I think... I think they were just sort of taken by the Kraken. Like, eaten by the Kraken. I'm still not sure. Oops. Um, oh, Eleanor Smith has done a super chat saying, Hey, Johnny, I'm inter out of interest. Did you find out about the PO box yet? I haven't had time to go over, which is really annoying. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to find out as soon as I possibly can. Sorry about that, Eleanor. And thank you for the, uh, the super chat. Of course, you can find out from the sketch who people were. Thank you, Ethan. Um, somebody was blasted by an explosion, but we're not sure who yet. Um, Mabba the Topman was torn apart by the Kraken. Abigail was clubbed to death by the Kraken. Uh, we're not sure about these people who uh, disappeared. Have we seen any of these bits yet? Ah, the end. Yes, we saw that William Hoskett, the first mate, was shot dead by the captain. This person was knifed by the captain, and this person was clubbed by the captain, and the captain shot himself. That's what we've got so far. There it is. I'm still... The man. The man who I don't know what, it hap what happened to him. Three memories. Bookmark those memories. Ba -ba. First memory, Perish in the Doom Part 4. Show memories on deck map. Well, which one? The Doom Part 4, sure. No, no. Show me the memories on the deck map. One, two, three. He was in that one. He must have been a steward. He must have been a steward. We're going back. I'm sorry. We're going back to the poop one. I'm now curious. Really sorry. We're going to the poop one. If I can remember which direction it's in. Not that way. This way. Bottom. Okay. Yes, yes, you were pooping. No, he's not a steward. Shit. Uh, he must have been part of the gunning, gunnery crew, right? Which one is he? Not that one. There you are. Right. It's this guy. But his face is still blurry, so what... And we don't know who he is. Yeah, we don't know. Okay, alright. And I, I'm just not sure how he died. 
So, I'm sorry I put us all through the poop one. Once again. Sorry. <sighs> Alright. Okay. Oh. Oh. Who are you? How did you die? Yaslana has done a super chat saying, I'm so excited to see you play this. I got it and 100%ed it because of Alice and you doing a late to the party. Oh, Aoife, me and Aoife, yeah. Uh, it was wonderful. Uh, and I, I want to finish it and I want to get it all right. We're supposed to know who you are. How are we supposed to know who you are? Disappeared in the doom. Disappeared? Oh, disappeared. Okay. I mean, he's at the helm. The hel is, is hel helmsman isn't just because there are different watches. There are different watches. Like, he can't be on the helm all the bloody time. He's in one memory. First memory is him disappearing. It no! He's in... Abigail was clubbed by a terrible beast. Okay, but... Right, let's have a look. The crew. First mate. La 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 la. Butcher. Oh, no, helmsman. Yeah, it's, fin it's Finley Dalton. There we go, this is the helmsman. He's at the helm, that's fine. Alright. Finley Dalton. Helmsman. There we go. Finley Dalton. Alright. And he disappeared. Okay, right. Anyway, back to the blood niff room. Which one was it? It's probably the one with the niff outside and all the blood. There we go, blood niff room. Okie dokie. Come on. There we go. Alrighty. Who are you then? Oh, no. You're cut. Scottish. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother I, I, I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <coughs> Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. Pete's mother. Interesting. Okay. No, not you. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay, where's Brennan? Oh, crikey. You're dead. You're d Oh, wow! Fucking hell. There's more blood that way. Is that Brennan or is that Brennan? Mm. Okay, he knows Brennan is somewhere. He knows Brennan is about. But is Brennan... What? One of these two? Hmm... Pete's mother. There was a Pete who went overboard? Interesting. Right, I want the log of that one. And Kellogg Fergic says, oh, he's missing an important part of his head. Really is. Escape, eh? In the midshipman cabin. Who is this? How did they die? Well, he was cut. Knifed. By an unknown attacker so far. Now, this unknown soul. We don't know who it was. It's in four memories, though. Depicted in Justice at Sea. Well, he's a midshipman. If we can assume that to be his cabin. And he's dressed like a midshipman. That one was exploded. <gasps> Is that Peter? Is that Pete? Pete the midshipman? Peter Milroy. Because he had to hang on to the lines. Let's double check the... Um... No! Let's double check the... 
Right. Oh, no. Tell Pete's mother I tried my best to pull him back to save him. Hmm. I think... I think we've discovered who Pete is. Uh, or where Pete is. Um, Marcus Cox has done a... Uh, wait, I missed a super chat from She's a Keeper. Uh, She's a Keeper did a super chat saying, Oh, dang, my fave DM playing my favourite game. Enjoy the adventure. I'm so close to getting a tattoo of the pocket watch. I can see why. This game is absolutely bloody brilliant. I have to finish it this time. I absolutely have to. I just must. But right. Okay, three others are present. First mate, William Hosker. This guy. And this one. So one of... Okay. So that's Hosker. One of these two is Brent Brennan. I'd say it's probably that one. Let's... Okay. Yeah. I reckon you are Brent... 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 Bren, Brennan. Especially if... Hang on. Was it Brennan? Um, sorry, uh, she's a keeper. I completely lost. I completely lost myself in Oberdin there for a second. Uh, I can totally see. Totally see why. Um, uh, <laughs> why you would get that pocket watch tattoo? Bloody hell! And Marcus Cox has done a super chat saying, "I just wanted to say I loved the Killer Frequency stream. I appreciate that you streamed late to finish the game. It was an absolute blast. I had a bloody lovely time. It was really, really great." Um, there's Brennan. Please don't backseat. Even even if it's pointing out where something is on the page, please, please don't backseat me. Um, I've like, I think part of the reason I've taken so long to stream this game is that I just really don't want. I just want to. I just want to solve it. You know. Um, right. I reckon we've got Brennan. Um, and you're very welcome, Marcus. Um, I really. I bloody loved. Um, streaming Killer Frequency. I thought it was magnificent and I was just too excited to stop playing really so yeah it's a really lovely game and I kind of want to replay it and do worse <laughs> at it or better. Okay. Okie dokie. Right. <laughs> Teach me, Vape Cloud. To where must I go? Probably where that corpse was. Hey, yes. All right, here we go. What's all this shit, for? Shitting hell. Would everyone just stop clubbing everyone else? This guy's a real POS, isn't he? Right, you were clubbed to death by this guy. Fucking Ali really was knifed, wasn't he? Right. Oh, that guy's still just so dead. Okay. So this one was clubbed. By this guy's a, this guy keeps popping up and he seems really awful. There's more blood that way. Nice Rich says all this clubbing and not one join the club quip. <laughs> um, I, my brain was going to like, you know, we're in the club, but uh. Look, I'm not considering that to be a failing on my part. I'm considering that to be uh, an indicator of the fact that you're funny. The nice switch. Okay. What's all this, you damn fool? You were clubbed by an unknown attacker. Nope, nope. On the aft gun deck. Three others were present. Oh, Henry Brennan. Oh, we do know. Yeah, oh yeah, Brennan. Who eventually got knifed by Wittrell. 
Brennan, you're a real asshole. Now that's interesting, isn't it? Now, now, now. Well, well, well. These are some men with guns, and that is a man. Oh, we don't, we don't have enough. Oh, okay. I thought I had it because uh, if you look at justice, this guy's getting shot, and this man. Oh no! Wait, no, that guy's commanding them. Never mind. This unknown soul. We don't know who that is. Okay. I really like how it steps in to be like, don't. Don't guess. It's very good. Uh, Chris Rakowski has done a super chat saying, love the sound direction. You know what this brutal murder scene needs? Jaunty string music. It helps keep things light. It, it, well, it, it helps keep me in a kind of like, I am a detective and I must detect the things kind of, kind of way. If it was all super heavy, this would feel like a bit of a chore. It's like, oh, fucking hell, here comes another one. Right. Cyborg Penguin has done a super chat saying, Ahoy! I have the whole evening off from work and now get to hang out here while Johnny plays my favourite insurance investigator game. I hope everyone's doing well and staying hydrated. I'm doing very well, thank you, and I am staying hydrated. But now we get to find out how this guy lost the top of his head. Silver Comet says, Don't say you're a detective, otherwise I hear the frog voice. Well, that's presuming you feel like there's anything wrong with the frog voice. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Jupiter Mon says natural causes must be. Right then. Head went kablooey. Shot by. Shot by clubs to deathmen. Now then, that's interesting. Right. Um, <laughs> Moogle says this seems bad. Yes, indeed. Uh, Chris Rakowski says, uh, Johnny, if you play Papers, Please, also by Lucas Pope, it's fantastic. I've played it. It's so much. <laughs> Alyssa says, that'll do it. Yeah, you can see how it happened. Right. Mutiny, mutiny. Right. And then we've got thingy. Knifed unknown. In there. But, Okay. Ah, yeah, and who's up? Ah, who's up top here? That's what's his face, and that's another f his face. Anyway, right, got shot. Okay. This unknown soul was shot with a gun, although it may as well have been a cannon. Where's he gone? So that's... Is that William, really? Yeah, that's William, alright. Okay. And then we've got... Uh, Brennan. This is... Gosh, I just don't know who he is. We don't know who that is either yet. Okie dokie. Layers on layers. There is a point in this game where you just keep finding new ones and going, Oh God, can I not just nail down one of these first? Aha! An up here person. 
Oh, well, that's not on, is it? Mutiny indeed. Shit. Come on then, vape cloud. You strawberry, mint and lime. Disgusting, vaporous mess, you. Right. This person just hoid themselves over the over the rail. Let them go. Well then. Oh. That's the captain. There he is, look. But, if you look at the exit wound, there's your shooter. There she is! And then, here are your two lads from earlier. Oh, and here's another dead man. Can everyone just stop getting shot? Da -na 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 -na. Ooh, it's all hotting up, isn't it? Who else is there? Get out of the way, you. I see a lady in that boat. Okay, was shot. All right. Ooh. Yes, I remember. Getting into the real meat of it. Who was this? How did they die? They were... Well, I don't know who they are. No! But I'm pretty certain they were shot with a gun. They're in six memories. That's interesting. Another? Another? Must we? I mean, I suppose it's good to... You know what? I've So... This is where I started to, to worry last time. I was just like, I'm not, I'm, I'm progressing so far into finding all of these bodies, but I just don't know where, you know, who anyone is and yada, yada, yada. I need to stop thinking about it as this being a progression tracker. What I'm doing right now is accumulating points of data, and that's very useful. I should stop worrying. Which is obviously easier said than done. Is it you? You're the... Yes, you're the other one. Right, here we go. Alright then, Vape Cloud. Are you going to show me where... Yep. 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 Okay. There we go. Hello, you. Dum-dum-dum-dum. Last one. Move quick. The last boss. Paul. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so a man who was shot stabbed this man, who we have reason to believe is Paul. Paul... Paul Moss? First mate steward, Welsh? That's the only Paul. Yep. And he was stabbed up. Right. Who else we got? I see you, I see all of you. Let me, let me see the lady. Let me, ta there you are. Tagged. Wait a minute. Was there another name in there? Orthongla says, um, oh no, I think I missed something. Why do we think he's Paul? Uh, she said, Paul. Oh, who else we got? There's the captain. There's... 
that man. Oh, I didn't scan for more people. Ah, they're the same people. All right. Right. Last one. Move quick. You want to pull, look out, stop, let them go. No, damn. Okay. Was stab stabbed, knifed. Where's killed? Sword. <laughs> okay. Was killed with a sword by an unknown attacker. All right. Another. Another. Must we? <laughs> we must. We must. Well, there's clear. Aha! Well, perhaps, because this was just moments before, we can see. Yes. Yes, look at this. There he is, look. <gasps> That's him talking about mutiny. And there's a man who's missing an arm. Fuck. All right. Okay. Yes, I would. Uh, yeah, stands to reason that's the one we're going to scan next. Okay. Oh, there's just bloody hell. So much going on. All right. A lot of you making jokes about that guy being armless. Tasteful as ever. Oh gosh, where are we going, Vape Cloud? Down the stairs, you say? Over here, is it? This game's just so good. Okay. Bing, 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 ding, ding, ding. Lenten Soup says, Hey Johnny, want to say hi and heading back to the beginning for no spoilers. Oh! Oh! It's gone. Your mate was torn apart. <gasps> this, this, uh, A German man. How, how did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the store. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. Curse like that. Does that it for nothing? Okay. Well, you. Okay, we know we know who you are now, or we should be able to tell because you are German on account of the fact you said verdammt. We should know who this guy is. No, I don't think he's that clear. Okay, handy. Hello, you. Meanwhile. Dum dum du ba do ba dum 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 da 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 dum 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 dum. Here comes the Capitan. Silent Cobb has done a super sticker of three hippopotam my potamuses potamuses, um, kind of like bobbing their heads up from under a the surface of the water, kind of blinking and waggling their little ears. Do they waggle their ears? They do a little bit. And they seem like jolly fellows. Thank you very much, Silent Cobb. Right. Oh, there was a trail of blood there. Hmm. Hmm. God, I bloody love this game. Neo Hamilton says the Kraken just bailed. He did half a job and bailed. I have lost all respect for this Kraken. Right. Okay. So, that was in the officer's mess. This person's wearing a hat, which means they're important. And uh, we know them to be... Or German or Austrian. They could be Austrian. In fact, I don't see German here, so I would uh, conclude that they are, in fact, Christian Wolf the Gunner from Austria. Yes. Christian Wolf the Gunner. He sort of just ble sort of was torn apart, but expired. No, he didn't expire from old age. Was torn apart. He was torn apart. He died from blood loss. I 
I'd kind of want to say by a terrible beast. Let's have that for now. Don't backseat. Do not backseat, please. But yes, there are two Austrians. So it could be Alfred Clestiel. The bosun. Yes, because that is a bosun. That's the bosun. All right. Now, where does this blood lead? Well, let's just leave this one. Okay. All right. Escape. <laughs> Who are these people? Okay, four wayward soil soils. Souls disappear in the events of this chance. Their fates catalogued here. How do we know who you are? That's what bothers me. We know it's to be difficult, so we'll not bother for now. Ah, crappers. Right, so this is the officer's mess. Ah, now. Right, so we know who that is. Ah, look, we can go downstairs now. Well, that's a lot of blood. I think you can all agree. And there's more here. There's some barrels. <laughs> Con from the Ford says, Officer's mess? It's a bloody tip. You're not wrong. It's a carpenter's thing of me. Here's the armory. No, don't close close me in. Alright. Ah, oh, PJ Buck is in chat. Hello, PJ. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Um that sounded vaguely threatening. I hope you're well. Because if not, we'll be having words. I promise you that's not that wasn't my intention. Well, well now. I kind of want to get out here because this, are those meant to be flies? Not sure. Is there an, a way to get through there? No. Unless there's a door. No. Let me out. Ah! Oh, wait, we just go round. Silly me. Oh, no, wait. No, we don't. Silly me. There was me being like, ah, no more bodies, please. But now I'm just hungry to find more. Why is there not a way through here? You know? Ugh. Irritating. Ah. Well, that's a... Uh... Wow! 
That was an awful lot. Bloody hell. Christ alive. Um, right. Uh, Luke Gray is on Super Chat saying, Hey Johnny, uh, been a while since I've been able to come to a stream. I've missed them and I'm curious, are you going to EGX this year? Already got my ticket. I don't know that I am, actually. Um, currently, I don't think I have any plans to be there, but that could change. Who are you? Who are you? You poor little... Poor little queasy fellow. Who are you? Your knife done known. And this is... That man? And this is... We've had an ex... We've had... Oh. I was about to say we've had an explosion of people. Apparently we should be able to... Uh, should be able to identify. But then I clicked on this guy and... Uh, it's had exploded. Aiden says Oxventure won't be there. I didn't know if that had been confirmed yet or not. So... Um... So, yeah. Right. Now, you, sir. Let's have a look at you. Unknown. But we should be able to deduce this one. Okay. <sighs> this is annoying. Who else is here? No! I want to see details. Okay. Return of the Obra Dinn. Cookie Cat 94 is done super chat, super chat saying, There has been an upsetting amount of moist sounds. Yes, indeed. So many. A bit of cold. Oh, this is early doors on the all-up deck. Location of the corpse. Ten others are present. A large cow was slaughtered for its meat. Take him to the carpenters. Get him wrapped and see to the last rites. Hit her here. One swing. Get through the skull and stun her brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here. Yeah, come on before she kicks up. You're right there, sir. Never been on a farm, Charlie. Mind your shoes now. Right. Charlie is the one bundering. Of course. Right, who else we got? We got this fella. We got... Your man here. We've got... Man. We've got Monk here. I suppose that's an ape. No, it's not. Here's a dead... Deaden. Here's another man. Just going to tag them all in. Uh, PJ Buck has done a super chat saying, I will catch you all on the VOD. BNB Duke Crims. Thank you very much, PJ. That's very, very kind. Um, uh, yeah, I will see you in uh, VOD Town. Right, Charlie. This is Charlie. Charlie. Charles Minor, bosun's mate. French? No. No, because that guy was English. Charles Hirschstick, midshipman. Yeah, I'm going to say that's Charles Hirschstick, midshipman. He's dressed like a midshipman. And apparently I'm supposed to know who this is. Oh, Emil O'Farrell, the butcher? Probably. Yeah. I reckon. He's wearing a butcher's apron, and he's Irish. Because that's, that's another midshipman. And that is the exploded midshipman. All right. A reminder that even just asking innocent questions can be a way of backseating. Like, is being Irish a prerequisite for being a butcher? Um, we're hardline today. Please no ask. Alright. Cheerful Spider has done a super chat saying, Moment of silence for the great fruits sacrificed to Obra Din Foley. So many fruits and vegetables. Yeah, went through the ringer for this one, didn't they? Okay. You said that like those two were related, says Emma. Well, oh, I meant that as a joke, but noted. Oh, sorry, Emma. 
Right. Yes, yes, that's where the body was, all right. Right, here we go. How did you die? Uh oh! Coffin! Well, same as the other. Oh! Time. Some lung disease. Lung consumption. Okay. Made worse by the cold. Did it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the last house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <laughs> what are his chances? I gave him some more. Though. We'll see. Sounds like he died immediately. Right. That's that man. This seems not unlike a ship's doctor, hey? That's uh, William. And that is another man who we seemingly should be able to guess the identity of. Anyway, this man. Who else we got? That guy. We're not sure who this is, but we know who that one is. Oh, they're just here, are they? Oh, they've been standing. They've been sat there a while. Okie dokie. Dum dum. Bum 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 bum. How the fuck am I supposed to know who you are? I want to see the transcript. Now, so we've got a surgeon and we've got a surgeon's mate. So I wouldn't like to um, take a guess right now who either is. Although, no, that's all right. Hello, monkey. Hmm. Okay. How did they die? Succumbed to a tragic illness. Yes. Alright. And then I assume we get to find out who this was, or at least get to see their last moments. It was not consumption, though, as Emma Benton says. Crucially. Doo -doo. Okay. Ooh! Okay, so we know who it was. Sayed? Okay, so that's Sayed. Let's fill that in now. Do, 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 do. Uh, da, 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 da. Syed. I was just scanning first names, but it could well be a second name. Or I might just be bad at reading. Syed, Solomon Syed. There we go. There we are. You there and you there. And then we had some other men talking. Okay. Ah, yes, we had some people playing cards. Ah, ah. Okay. So we now know that this fellow who the one in the striped shirt uh, appears to be oops no 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 that's not that's not Martin that's not Martin the third mate um hmm is Russian 
Interesting. Okay. Okay. All right. There are three people listed as Russian here. Two seamen and a topman. Let's have another look at that. Oopsie. Oh, no. Now, what I want to know is, so these, like, these are all, th that's at least a topman. Were they hanging out, were the topman hanging out with the topman, or was that a, just a seaman? Who knows? Who knows? The game seems to think I should be able to guess who that is. Well, the game is telling me that, um, <laughs> fingers, my only says phrasing. Yeah, no, fair enough. Two seamen and a topman was that's some suggestive stuff uh, right there. Okay, who are you? Who are you? Interesting. Okay. Oh no! Didn't meet an unknown fate. Was ill. Illness. Succumb to a tragic illness. Okay, here we go. Yes! Three more. Yes, okay. Oh, Clestial was torn apart by a beast. Great, okay. Not great, obviously. Very upsetting. Henry Brennan. Stabbed by the captain. Dum, 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 dum. Yes. <gasps> nice. It says, "Okay, now finally my chippy tea actually arrived. Big hurrays all round, please and thank you. Congrats on the chippy tea. That is absolutely fantastic." I'm gonna. Yeah, I've had enough of you. See you later, fourteen. Ah, carry choices. What is chippy tea? So, fish and chips. Right. No, so it says, I hope that I can inspire someone out there to get their own chippy tea. I know I'd love to, to be honest, but... Um, what's your go-to chippy tea order? If I do If it's not too much to ask, Sarah. Mine is... Small cotton chips, mushy peas, and a pickled egg. That's that's my that's my jam. Oh, look at that! You can even click in on the on the map. Okie dokie. Right. Now then, loft. Okay, let's go back to R. No, <laughs> uh, Lanka, fish and chips in a tea mug. It's, it's, uh, the tea, tea is uh, another word for dinner. Like, it's basically, northern people will say tea, tea meaning like the evening meal. Um, and then southerners tend to say dinner. Uh, the crew, okie dokie. Small cotton chips, beans if I'm feeling special, brackets I am. Oh, delightful. Okay. Oh, look. Hold on a minute. Oh, the guard with the spears, foremost and royalty. That's interesting. So we don't know who that is yet, but this one. Okay, it's a four four difficulty guess. So I'm not feeling terrible about it. This one is a three difficulty guess. So I'm also not feeling terrible about that one. Where else can we go? Let's let's poke around. Oh yeah, no, we didn't find any bodies there. Oofed. Okay. There's so much blood. Yep, 
really enjoying uh, everyone sharing their chippy tea orders. Good on you, quite frankly. Okay, so this is the knife room. Stephen Hoy says you may be thinking of afternoon tea, which is the third thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> afternoon tea is a third thing. That's more of a lunchtime thing, but you do drink tea with that. <laughs> Whereas lunch. <laughs> lunch is a fourth thing. We're not. Yeah. We we're an interesting people. Okay. All right, let's just have a nice brief wander above deck, shall we? I say nice. Let's just have a little w walk around. <sighs> oh, is this door just opened? What's What's to be had here? Hang on. Well, this is the doctor's office, I see. Wait! Aha! Aha! -ha. Aha! A leg! Okay. There's a lot of tattoos. That is a man. That is one of the foremost in royalty, you'd think. Okay. We're not sure who that is yet. That's the other foremost and royalty fellow. This is... Who's this? Who's this? Uh, one of the Russian fellows, I think? It's a lot happened on this ship. A lot. Murder. Outside the first mate's window. Who is this? How did they die? Well, was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker? And there's another corpse to be found here. Well, that's got to be one of the mates, right? I'm just going to click on his nam. No, I know. All right, fine, fine, fine. I was getting ahead of myself, admittedly. Oh, look, there's another one. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, well, this person was, from the way they're trussed up, I think it was the person who was executed. Are we about to go back and see the... Are we about to see the... the? Are we about to be in the picture? From earlier? So many questions.
Yes. Nice to say. Oh. You have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. Quiet. As captain of this ship and by the authority of the East India Company, Boo. thus the crown of Boo. The I sentence you to death by firing line. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. In. Yes, right. Yeah, well, oh. Yep, sure enough, we're in that photo. Hello. Okay. There's El Capitan. There's, well, here's everyone. There's our bosun. That means ES. Yeah, look, there's ES. Here's the... Oh, there's the angle. Okay. So, uh... Yeah, we, now we know who she is. Because, uh... Oh, I need to check the tra transcript to make sure I've, I absolutely get the... get the names right. But, okay, so we'll know, we'll be able to identify her. Okay. Well, goodness me. Heavens. It's a sketch, not a photo. Yes, I know what you mean, Lanka. You know what I meant. Pencil photo. Okay. Well, Hock Seng Lao. Ah, and then Miss Lim. Okay. No, 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 no. No, we can... No, we got this. That's Hock. Where did... Hang on. Hock Seng Lao was uh, executed? No, executed isn't there. Um, axe burned, clawed, clubbed, crushed, decapitated, drowned, eaten, electrocuted, expired, exploded, fell, froze, illness, killed, sword, knifed, poisoned, shot. The gun by everyone. <laughs> but we're going to say... I mean, by by so many people. Really, is that it? Is it suicide torn apart? Yeah, he was shot, but all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot, gun by. Boson gave the order. Boson gets it chalked up. There we go. All right. Um. Mm, 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 mm. I got two. Um, Emma Benton says we haven't even discussed who probably has or had the best butt on this boat. We failed. Well, everyone's butt looks the same when it's just a pelvis. Rob Lambert has done a super chat saying, Hey, Johnny and LSP, has been prescribed an SSRI for the first time, but worrying about potential side effects. Loving Obra Dinn. Have you played Papers, Please? I have played Papers, Please. It's one of my favourite games. I bloody love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, oh, no. Hang on. Um, and... Uh, so that's Miss Lim. One sec. Let me just identify Miss Lim, and then we will get to the other part. Miss Lim. Yeah, so it's probably Bun Lan Lim. Okay. Um, so, everyone is different, um, and also side effects can differ between SSRIs. Um, but I would say some of the most common ones are um, that taking them can make you... Uh, feel quite awake. Um, not in the sense that it's like you'll take it and it'll be like you've had a coffee or anything, but if you take it in the evening, you can find it hard to sleep. So pick a time in the morning. I take, I try and take my meds around 11am each day. 
um, just pick a time in the morning and trying to try and take your medication at around that time. Um, you may have some like early early side effects like a bit of nausea when you take your meds or something like that. Those should hopefully wear off. But one the one that I keep banging on about um, that is just a thing now uh, for you is that you are at a higher risk of dehydration. People who take SSRIs, or you, you, you aren't definitively, you may be, but it's it's very common. People, people who take SSRIs they do tend to sweat more. You need more water. So um, just start drinking more water. I've got this big thing. It's like a, between a litre and a litre and a half, I think. Um, and I, I just I suck down water all day, especially in the hot weather. It's really important. Um, but also, if you're worried about anything, talk to your prescribing doctor. Um, uh and yeah, like the idea is that you, they'll keep checking in with you to make sure that your medication is right for you. So all of that, with the enormous caveat that I am in no way a trained medical professional, these are all just anecdotal bits from uh, my experiences taking SSRIs, which I've done for uh, 10 out of the last 12 years, I think. Um, but yeah, so just take that with a pinch of salt. But that's the kind of thing... Um, I would I would caution you about. Um, they called her Babylon has done a super chat saying, does it still count as fashionably late if you're two and a half hours late? My excuse is that I was busy picking strawberries off to the start. See you later. That is a delightful excuse. Also, you're not late. You arrive precisely when you mean to. Especially if you were... Oh, pickling strawberries. Oh, that's even better. Holy shit, yeah. I'd love a pickled strawberry. They sound amazing. Um, anyway, if you've just got back to this point, hello again, they called her Babylon. Um, I, hope you've, I hope you've enjoyed the stream so far. Um, CookieCat94 has done a super chat saying a large number of crows have been found dead on the highway. Cause of death appeared to be from vehicular impacts. Investigations showed that only 2% were killed by cars, with 98% being from motorbikes. What am I missing? Large number of... Here we go. There's a second super chat. That's what I'm missing. Turns out that crows always have a lookout crow to warn of danger. <sighs> but while, while all the crows would shout car, not a single one could shout bike. Fucking hell. <laughs> Thank you, CookieCat94. That was a lot. That was an awful lot. Wait a minute. Oh, escaped chicken. There's another body to be found here? Was somebody already dead by the time... <gasps> Not the pig. Was somebody already dead by the time... Oh, yeah, we did say for the murder of. Where are they? <gasps> There's the body. Now, Miss Lim was protesting this man's innocence. Let's find out if it's true. Oh, good lord! That's a violinist. And that... We now know for a fact... So we Mr. Nichols. That's Edward Nichols, the second mate. And he... just knifed... this Italian man. Probably Nunzio Pasqua, one of the passengers. It was from Italy. Yeah. Why? Why you knife a nunzio? 
Ah, here's what he was bloody well sorting. But that's... That's Hoxang Lao. Wait, is he... What the fuck? What is that? He was guarding that and he got knocked out. Oh my god, he was framed. Nichols. Nichols, you bastard. You were the murderer. Oofed. Oofed. Met an unknown fate, my foot was knifed. Was it gone? Knifed by. Oops. Knifed by. Nichols, the second mate. Right? This is double check. Yeah, it's Nichols, the second mate. Heavens! Heavens! Yeah! But Scott Hartman <laughs> said my eight-year-old just heard Johnny yell what the fuck from the other room and came running. Listen up, eight-year-old of Scott Hartman. There's a magic conch here. It may not be magic, but it was being guarded by this man, Hock Seng Lao. And he was knocked out by Edward Nichols, the second mate, who was then disturbed in trying to steal the conch by this passenger by the name of Nunzio Pasqua, who he then knifed in order to, to cover up his, his crimes. He then framed, framed Hock Seng Lao for the crime, and Hock Seng Lao was executed later by firing line. Honestly, it's 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 been pretty full on. I hope that explains things for you, Scott Hartman's eight-year-old. <laughs> Bloody hell! Okie dokie. Murder. All right. Okay, sketches of life aboard the Obra Dinn. Right. So we've identified half of the Formosan party. Still, it still annoys me that I, I, I don't know who that is yet. All this. I've got to stop obsessing over the over the manifest. That's what I've got to do. I've got to stop the obsession. But the thing is, that's... Th right, now we should go below deck. Because it may be that... Yay! May we may be able to look in the... In the room where it was happening now, right? Was it down here? Was it further below deck? I'm reaching that point where I'm like, I have so much to interpret, and I feel a little at sea. <laughs> anyway, right. It also doesn't help that I need the toilet again. I'll go in a minute. Just trying to wrap my head around things. Just having a little wonder, you know? Having a little wonder around. Okay. It's alright. Alright. Here we bloody go. I'm just having another look around again. I'm gonna pee. 
I'm gonna go P. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, oh god, imagine having to sleep next to a cannon. Snoring and then it's going off. Just <laughs> it's going bang in the night all the time. Where have you gone, the other corpse? This still bothers me, this one. This still bothers me. Was he taken? Was he taken? I can't tell. I sort of assume so. Oh, it's annoying. Anyway, right. Oh no, where's the exit to this one? Oh, there it is. Okie dokie. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to nip to the loo and I'll be right back. I'm just going to... I won't even put myself on be right back. I'll just... I'll be back in a sec. Oh, hi everyone. Okie dokie. <sighs> right. Now then. That leg out the window though, hey. Kind of wondering if there are any... Ooh, that's so sad, that one. It was framed. Are there any like bodies we've missed or any doors we can go in that we haven't accessed yet? Let's find out. That's locked, seemingly. Yep. Nice which says I overestimated how much chippy tea I could get through. I'm dying. Uh, if you've got leftover chips, put them in the freezer. Cause if you try and reheat chippy shop chips the next day. They're not that nice, but if you bang them in the freezer and treat them like oven chips, they are great. Top tip. Okay. We're just going to have a nice little wonder to clear our heads and also just make sure that, you know, there are no more limbs hanging off the side of the ship. I am curious, actually, as to the one we saw out the window. Because it looks like a prosthetic leg. I can't remember which window, so we're going to have to do some looking. Is it out this window? Okay, so, right. Murder. Part three of three. Okay. Right, that's a prosthesis. I just want to know, I want to know who this guy is. Oh, it's a three, it's a three, um, three difficulty one. Okay.
Okay. On the main deck, right. Now he's in two memories. Aha! He's one of the Russian fellows. That's an interesting little tidbit. Life at sea sketch. Yes, that is definitely one of the Russians. Of whom we allegedly can now identify three. But they're all marked as being three difficulty. So let's not get too caught up in it. This man's interesting. Because that's right, that man was in the. Uh, it was in the um, surgeon's office. But he appears to be. Oh, he's wearing an apron. But it's a low apron. He could be. He could be the surgeon's mate, you know. That could be James Wallace. Which would mean that Um, right, Syed, Solomon Syed. Yeah, memory. Show the memory. Oh, no, not Syed. Oh, wait, was he there? Yeah, yeah, he was. No, he was there when the other chap died of, um, of illness. Bear with me on this, I'm just having a... <laughs> Excuse me! Where's the other illness person? That's weird. Only one of them is listed as having died of illness. It's not this one. So that's when Syed died. Now this one. This is the one I'm after. Okay. Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Right. I reckon that's our surgeon, and that's... Wait a minute. Yeah, I reckon that's James Wallace, the surgeon's mate. Which would make this... Our surgeon, Henry Evans. That's just what I reckon. That's what I reckon, anyway. That is what I reckon. Okie dokie. Good. Right. Anyway, let's try and find some just more gubbins. Nice what it says, Johnny, what do you reckon? I reckon I found the surgeons, mate. That's what I reckon. And I reckon I found the surgeon too. But that's just what I reckon, so. Oh, I certainly get that puzzle game tingly head feeling. Right. 
Now, this is blood. Blood. Oh, you can just go around this side. Oh, for crying out loud. I tried to get around here for ages. Because there's a body here, look. I have a vague memory that this one is weird. Right, hello, you are dead. And that man. Now. That was a squishy noise, but I didn't hear a gut. That's right. Yep, it's giant, enormous, horrifying, horrifying spider crab sea witch type things. <laughs> Mr. McWaggle says, looks like consumption. Oh, that's another man who's died. Well, now. The, the music's so jaunty. Do, 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 do. Doom, doom, do, do, doom. Let me out. <laughs> so jaunty. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Absolutely phenomenal, that. The music really makes this game, doesn't it? I mean, it's all so tremendous, but... Scott Hartman says, Was not expecting giant death spider crab. No one ever does. No one ever does. Right. You were... Speared by a terrible beast. Now, I happen to know uh, that this is going to give us another body. I assume it's the one over here. I assume it's this one. Well, would you look at that? Yes, it is. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right. Can you imagine being this poor insurance broker for real? And being like, alright, there's a man here. Uh huh? Yes, yes, vape cloud, we all know. Oh look at that, you can see you can see the like you could see the puncture marks in the wood before. Right. Okay, wowee. Oopsie doopsie. Right, we know for a fact that, that is Emil O'Farrell. Well, we don't know for a fact, but I strongly suspect this is Henry Evans, the surgeon. Well, that makes sense. Oh, this is our uh, peg legged friend. That is a corpse. They're throwing water on it. Do they burn it? To oh, they... S I mean, the thing died through stabbing. There's our bosun. Could that be a bosun's mate? I mean, it's going to tell me off. They're trying. More blood. More blood everywhere. This is... Knife unknown. Or are they just washing the deck? I'm not sure. And then... That's our fellow who was then run through. Goodness me. Nice Switch says, people who like this game, check out the case of the Golden Idol. I've been meaning to play that one for some time as well. It looks um, absolutely fantastic. Was. I mean, I think it's fair, it's fair to say. It's, bleh, it's fair to say. Speared by a terrible beast. And there's another! Another! Yes, I suppose it would be this one. 
All right. Cheeky little vape cloud sending me all the way round the capstan. Where are we going, vape cloud? Right. Okay. Nero Hamilton says, don't worry, eventually we'll run out of new corpses to find. I mean, can you really promise that? Oh. oh, yes, look, they are on fire. Horribly on fire. Right. Right. Did this man burn to death? It f certainly feels that way. Especially since, look, the sword is already in the crab monster thing. And it's being stabbed again by that guy. Oh, the exploded man. <laughs> right. And then this is... That's our surgeon... Here comes the man with the peg leg. We've already seen you in this one. There's the bosun with an absolutely massive... Oh, good lord! Those people have been decapitated. There's that man. And uh, this fellow. And more things coming. Addy, are you okay in chat? Hello, Addy. Addy's on a super chat, saying, here's some money for being your wonderful self. Thank you so much. That's very, very kind. Um, it's... Oh, yeah, that's Charles. Charles Hirschtick. The man who threw up earlier. Well, he burned to death. We know how that what happened there. Burned to death. Yes, it was O'Farrell. Um, hi, sorry. Hi, Addy. I was distracted then. Uh, it's lovely to see you. I really hope you're well. Um, thank you very much for the super chat. Okay, right. Well, let's go see the... I mean, I have a feeling I know where we're headed this time. No pun intended. Vape cloud, stop making me run. Boom, da boom, boom, da boom, boom, da boom, 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 boom. Sure enough. Oh, which guy was that again? Oh, James Wallace, the surgeon's mate. Oh, you're just horrible. Oh, look. I thought they were one and the same, but it's a humanoid sea thing on a thing. Who are you? Knife unknown. Yikes. Ah, now look. Oh, no, wait. Yes, look. He's throwing the lantern. Burn it quick, they said. But but that's Charles who burns to death. Did it come and snatch him up in retribution? Heavens. Emma Venton says, I hate everything that's happening here. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Mabel Teacher says, I can just imagine this dude's first day of work. Right, here's your watch and your official vape cloud. Off you go. Okay. Uh, met with an unknown fate. Oh, no. 
was decapitated by a beast. A terrible beast. Wait, hang on. This person was also decapitated by a beast. And I don't know who they are. I mean, it's likely that they're one of the top men uh, from China. Because they're not, they don't look like one of the Formosans. Because in the sketch, they are gambling. Whereas the Formosan royalty aren't depicted in this life at sea drawing, they are just there. Any road. Another, you say? Ambassador, you are spoiling us. Uh, will it be downstairs or up? Ah, I didn't even think about heading upstairs. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Yes, you're very dead. And there's the these people. Oh, I wish I'd paid more attention. Wish I'd gone upstairs earlier. But, there we are. Okay, so it's gonna be it's gonna be you. Oh, but wait, hang on a minute. Yeah, we can we can have another look. Oh no, we can't. Nice switch says, Oh, it's awful up here. Let's go back downstairs. Believe me, I'd like to, but the vape cloud goes where the vape cloud wants us to also be going. Good one, Johnny. Vape cloud, you're being silly. Alright, here we go. Alright. Well, you were skewered by Bad crab. Doo doom. Oh, a French person. What's going on? Stay back. It's already over the neck. Hey. Come on, boss. No. Get there. Hey. Cats. Right. Okay. So, bloody hell. It's already done for Nick. That's an interesting individual. Who are you? We see you later on the lifeboat. I remember that much. We threw an axe and then he just got... Sp oh, God. They just threw those spikes in. That's dreadful. Uh, Lanka... Is it Kajan? Or is it... I hope it's Kajan. Well, I, I hope I said it right. Uh, uh, but Lanka's done a super chat saying, Have some monetary exchange units. For what I hope is a simple and non-leading question, have you played or heard of Heaven's Vault? Uh, have I? One sec. Let me double check. I feel like I have heard of it. Oh, no, I haven't. Archaeological science fiction adventure game. Wow. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, I'd have a bang on that. Sure, why not? 60% off on Steam, don't you know? Well, um, thank you very much for the Super Chat and for the um, making me aware of that game. I'm going to write that down now, actually. Heaven's Vault. Heaven's Vault. Cool, cool, cool. Lanka says, just thinking you would like it and it would work as a stream because it's hard to backseat. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like everyone's being very good, actually, today on backseating. Um, I've not actually had to time anyone out. I banned two people this stream, but one of them was uh, just a random who'd wandered in to be a dickhead. And the other one, uh, someone who'd been winding me up for years, so... <laughs> Who is this? How did they die? Okay. Right, so. A demon. Out of the way. Beat the course enemy wall. Stay back. It's already done for Nick. Come on, boss. No, get down. Hey, catch. So, boss is the one who got down. <laughs> I'm not sure who this person is. I'll be perfectly honest with you. We d yeah, we don't know who that is. But we do know... That they were speared. Oh, no, spiked. Spiked by a terrible beast. Okay. And another 
treats for everyone. Because, yeah, we've got this nonsense. There's this fellow again. That thing was lobbing spikes. Now, if there's another corpse somewhere... I mean, we know there's another corpse somewhere because look at the watch. It's, it's, it's going absolutely wild. But if it's already done for Nick, then it might be Nick who we find. Ah! <laughs> Fucking hell. Are you Nick? Let's just have a look. Oh, uh, you know what? No. So my Bruft has done a super chat saying, uh, just stopping to say, hi, got SNW? SNW. South New Wales. Super nice work. Sweet. Natural wool. Uh, got SNW and work to do. Strange New Worlds, says Summer Bruft. Right, thank you. Got Strange New Worlds and work to do. Virgin Galactic had a successful first commercial flight, and I'm back from my nice trip to see them. Ah, very good. Um, I'm, I'm glad that it all went safely and securely. Because, um, well, <laughs> risky adventures could do with a, a bit of a success. Um, lately. Um, don't know where that came from. Uh, but thank you very much for the, uh, for the super chat. And uh, I'm very glad that you had a nice trip. And then it all went well. Um, and I hope Strange New Worlds goes well. Uh, Emma Blass is on a super chat saying, What a joy. I just watched your late to the party of this and wanted more. Just stopping for a high before retreating to VOD Squad. Um, strap in, Emma, because it's... We're having a nice time. It's it's a wild one, but we're having a nice one, I think. Ah, oh, look. We should be able to... Oh, look, here's another illness fellow. So that's Solomon Sight. How are we supposed to be able to guess this unknown sight? It's a three-star difficulty. Okay. Okay, all right. That's all right. That's all right. So, yes, you. Were, we don't know who you are yet. Okay, that's all right. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's see. Well, what do you know? It's the doorbell. So my partner should be able to get that. Yes, we're good. Ta-da! <laughs> Who had that on their bingo card? Right then. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, vape cloud. Okay, how many times do you want me to go around the mast? You jerk, vape cloud. You absolute jerk. <laughs> nice which says never fails to get me so hyped. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Do -dum. That should be a book and some tackies for me, actually. Heave, run! What is it, bloody devil? Oh wow. Now this one, he's been speared. Now this has gotta be Nick. It's got to be Nick. Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas Botterill. Let's just double check there's not another Nicholas. There isn't. Uh, and he has absolutely been speared this time, not spiked. There's... Oh, goodness. Dum, dum, dum. Lots of, lots of friends here. Oh, Christ! Ah! Well. God, that's frightening, isn't it? <laughs> Poor Nick. But it's so jaunty. Dum de dum dum. There you go. Hope you're all well. Dum de dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Ah, oh, they're just very scary. Dun 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 dun. It's a monster time. 
That's an unknown fate. Oh, no, no, no. He was speared by a terrible beast. Oh, we're not done. Oh, believe you me, we're not done. Oh, yes, probably this one. <laughs> Is it this one? Yes. Dr. Moss says, la, 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 you'll see this in your nightmares. Pretty much. <laughs> nice which says, Peter Pan? <laughs> it's going to blow my nose. I'm going to mute my mic a sec. There he is! He's on the capstan. Haiku Roy says, that man is not dead. He's simply flying through the air upside down. Well, <laughs> his happy thought was not dying on this awful bloody ship. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that man is French. Oh Christ! Well that... Well, here are some topmen. There's our, our guy who got torn apart by the Kraken. Now, this man was struck by lightning and is French because, well, these two people are Chinese and that man is from New Guinea. Do 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 boo do boo. Right, struck by lightning. Who had that on their uh, list of probables? The science boy says so. Is he? F so he is French because he was fried too soon. The science boy. <laughs> okay. Where are the topmen? I'm not seeing a French topman. Omid Ghoul? Could he have been a Persian topman? Should we try that? Oh no, it's a third. No, not an unknown steward. But unknown, unknown was electrocuted by God. <laughs> Ooh. For Pete's sake says, remember friends, getting struck by lightning and being French aren't mutually exclusive. Well, I'm afraid we're going to have to do this one again because I want to listen to the audio. I've no idea. Should we have it one more time? One more time. I'm going to turn it up as well. Okay, I'm going to ask you with the French accent, because I actually want you to answer this question. What kind of accent was that? I kind of do feel like this might be... Oh, Chris Bowen says Russian.
Cyborg Penguin reckons Russian as well. Let's pop it in, shall we? Let's pop that in. Now I wonder. I wonder. Soldiers of... Oops. No, no. Hold on. Ahahaha! Look! I wondered if he was present. Wondered if he was present in this one. It's a double whammy! I wondered if he was present at that one. Because oh, words are so difficult. Because, right, of the top man, you can hear Watson getting all excited. It's definitely not Scottish. Of the top man, right, he was present and playing cards. Oh, God, I've done it again. It doesn't sound Russian to me, actually. <laughs> but, right, three memories. Actually, let's look at the dialogue. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't think we can be certain this one. I mean, we can't. Three memories. And the door doorbell. Oh. Show memories on deck map. A Bitter Cold, part one. He was there playing cards when Solomon Syed succumbed to a tragic illness. And they were speaking Russian. That's what makes me feel like it's that guy. That's what I, f I feel like. That's... That's my suspicion. Silver Comet says, The door, door, you are spoiling us. Oh, cripes, I need to stop streaming soon. Um... Oh, it hurts to leave the game. Like this. Uh, Delon Rod, rather not... You not give me advice on, uh... A mechanical thing, if that's okay. Actually, screw it, why not? Go on, you ask politely. Am I at Kane says follow up stream? I am greatly tempted. I am greatly tempted. I'll see how I how I feel. Because to be honest with you, I may. I don't. Okay, so that's okay. Which one is which? Which one is which? This is this. Okay. Oh, D. Lawrence is in the transcript. There's a big X next to any time the person who died. Next to any time the person who died speaks in the dialogue. Right. Oh, our man is not there. That he's not there. He is. He's in the scene. That's because he's in his fucking hammock. Wait, no, that's not the guy. That's a different guy who died. Okay, right. Well, I've. Well, in that case, I've got what I need. I've got what I need. Cause, right. Let's go back up to see our. I'm gonna go back up, fix that mistake. Dudum. He wasn't talking. He wasn't talking, D. Lornro. You are great. Thank you. I did not know that the person talking was the one who had the axe. Right. 
Oh, hello. I didn't even see this fellow. Well, who are you? You're a top man, evidently. A top, a topman. Are you, in fact, the Persian topman? I suspect so. Oh god, no, they're all here, look. Oh, I didn't realise. Oh, they really are all up here. Including a man who isn't even a topman. Right, where's that guy? I'm going to undo that. Even if, even if I have a hunch that that could be correct. Let me zoom in on your face. Ethan Miguel Serky says, at least, this is a super chat, at least if you plan to stream it again, you know you'll finish the game this time. This has been a lot of fun. Yeah, that's a very good point. <laughs> Emma Benton says, Jesus Christ, it's, Jesus fucking Christ, it's raining, Topman. Right, okay, I'm just gonna put you back to unknown. I've got a dash, my friends, unfortunately. I wish to know who you are. But, um, we've, we've made progress. Oofed. Yeah, I'll stream this again. What are we saying? Of course I will. Um, yeah, we've got to get this done. Okay. Alright. Oh, God, there's just bodies everywhere. But this has been a fantastic stream. Uh, well, I've had a fantastic time, is what I'm saying. It's not really for me to say it's been a fantastic stream, but I've really enjoyed myself. Thank you very much for being here with me. Um... It's been a lot of fun, and I think you're all bloody lovely. So, um, yeah, I will be back on Saturday with fresh episodes of Press Any Kiyadini. Ghost of Tsushima will continue, and then it will be a whole new week, and we'll be uh, doing a painting stream. I'll be streaming more of this. We'll just be doing, doing all of that good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I will catch you then. In the meantime, uh, I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. Uh, there's a link in the description of this video. If you can support me directly uh, through that and you are uh, you are willing to, that would be lovely. But um, if not, just you being here is, is a lovely amount of support. And thank you for, um, you know, chatting and super chatting and liking the stream and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, uh, tell your friends about this channel because that would be nice, because it would be nice to find more skelly pals. Uh, so yeah, thanks again everyone, have a lovely rest of your day, and I will catch you very soon. Goodbye!